Hello, Happy New Year. Now let's kick off this 2017 with this video on ad-libbing, how to improve your ad-libbing or how to begin to ad-lib. Now let me say that being terrible in ad-libbing doesn't make you a terrible singer. You just happen to find yourself in an area of singing which is probably the most challenging of all everything in singing because ad-libbing simply means improvising. You're singing off the cuff. You're improvising at that moment melodies that may not be in the song. Yes, most times melodies that are not in the song. And also sometimes words or lyrics that are not in the song. So I'm telling you, it's really challenging, but it's not, it's not um, hard per se if you practice. Once you know what to do, practice is not hard, okay? Everything, being good in anything comes with practice, all right? So it's doable. So in this video, I'll help you out with ad-libbing. Okay, so first off, we've defined what ad-libbing is, a different melody. Now I created a song, I just did this song real quickly so we can use it to show you how to apply to other songs because if you get it with one song is basically the same principle in other songs you begin to apply it to any other song okay so let me just play it the words are i love you i need you you are my joy you are my peace my everything listen to it I need, I need you. You are my peace. My, peace. my everything. My everything. And then I repeat it again. Okay, so we're gonna use this song. Okay, so what's the first thing to do? The easiest place to start. So whether you're a beginner or you already do ad libbing, I'm sure you find something in this video that will help you. Okay, but let's start from the 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 beginning. Okay. This is what you can start doing. Start using the words in the chorus. Okay, some people, well, um, sing it exactly the way it is um, sang by the backing vocal. Okay, so you do ad libs where you have backing vocal and it's not just the chorus. Okay, mainly the chorus. You can do ad lib in the bridge, in the verse, or even when you don't have backing vocal, depends on the arrangement of the song. Depends also on you, the soloist, what you wanna do or what you wanna do with, that, with the song, okay? So in this case, this is our chorus, all right? So I said, you can sing exactly the melody. There's nothing wrong with that. So for instance, I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. And so on. Do you see? I sang exactly the melody. Now, you can begin practicing like that. Just before the line comes, just before the backing vocal come in with um, the word I love you, you can sing exactly the same thing. So when you begin like that, begin to learn to change one or two notes okay i sang i love you i love you exactly what it did okay now you can change it and how to be guided and this is where this is where you need to um improve or expand your memory bank okay so to be very good with ad libbing you need a rich memory bank of melodies okay so that takes practice again when you hear, for instance, someone singing on radio, CD, in your car, and you like a certain thing they did, a certain ad lib they did, observe how they did it, how they applied it to the song. You can practice that one and begin to apply that same technique to other songs. Okay, you don't have to learn everything they did in this in that same song. Maybe just one or two or three ad libs that you like. Make it your own. Like I said, it comes with practice. The more you practice, the more you implant it into your mind. Okay, that's what I mean by um, increasing 
um, your, your memory bank, the memory, uh, the melodies you have in your memory bank. So when you learn that one uh, and, it, and it becomes your own, never to forget again, you learn another one and that makes two and then three and then four. The more you have these melodies in your mind, the, 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 the easier it will become for you to flow in any, any song. So let's continue. Okay, so I, I was talking about changing the melody, changing it just a bit, not too much, okay? So you, you, you sang the same thing uh, the, the back and vocal sang. Okay, we said, I love you. You can go, I love you. I love you. That's easy enough. Sounds similar to what we did before. Listen. I love you. I love you. Okay, so now we change it up a bit. Now, as the song progresses, you may want to go up. All right? What I mean, go up, go up the range. But we'll come to that. We'll come to that. So when you are changing melodies, you're not just changing it, but you're changing it according to the chord of that moment. Okay, remember a chord is made up of one or uh, two or more notes played at the same time. So you have various choices. You can go, I love you, I love you, I love you. So when you are changing the melodies, you change it according to the chord of the moment. For instance, we began with this chord. I love you. I need you, you are my peace, then my everything. You see that? So the chords were changing. So these chords are made up of different notes. Okay, so you have a variety of notes to mix and match and change the melody. Okay, so apart from singing the lines that are about to come, you know, you can also sing it after. For instance. I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. You are my Did you hear that? So I'm singing it after now. And this time I changed the melody. I love you. I need you. I need you. Let's try that. I love you. I need you. Remember? Let's go. First them. I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. you and do you notice something else? I increased my range. Okay? It wasn't like the first ad lib I did. I love you. This time I went up. I love you. Okay? So as the song progresses, you at some point you increase the energy of the song and take it to another level by um, going up in your range when you're doing your ad lib. So apart from that, you can do oohs and ahs. Okay? For example, so before you even begin to add your riffs and runs, you can do it simple. I love you. Ooh. I need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are my So, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So you add some attitude to it. Okay, so, um, and then apart from that, you know, you can think about the title of the song i love you i need you you are my peace my everything what else can we say which is still based on the title of the song let's try lord i love you, I love you. you mean everything to me I yes i need you, you are my you're my everything So, um, you mean everything to me, even though we have it, have it there, I changed it up a bit. What else can you say? 
Okay. Without you, I can't, I can't breathe. Let's try that. You know I love you. Without you, I can't breathe. I need you right here. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so you see how I'm improvising? Because I practice these things. It's just, I'm just doing it right now. And um, don't, you don't have to start with all those runs um, and, uh, and all those long runs and so on and so forth. You can start with something simple. Okay, you can even pick one word from the line just before maybe they sing it. Something like, I, I love. Okay, without even pronounce or, or without even singing the whole line. I, I love you. Oh, why? I, I need you. You see? So I just used I. I don't have to say the whole thing. And you don't want to cloud it as well with ad libs everywhere as well. Because remember, um, you want the message to be grabbed by your listeners. So let's practice, okay? I love, you. I love you. I need you. Can we try that? I love you. We change it a bit. And then you go, I need you. Let's go. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. I love you. I need you. So what about the next line? It says, you are my peace. Okay, what can we do there? Now, I want to take it up, okay, with you are my piece. So the first two, and then you are my piece. Listen to you are my piece. I love you. I need you. You are my piece. You're my everything. Okay, so you are my piece. You're my everything. Okay, can we try those four? All right, let's go. I love you, I need you. You are my peace, you're my everything. Let's go. I love you, I need you. You are my peace, you're my everything. And when you advance, you can add note best to that everything. You're my everything. And so on and so forth. Okay. So that's one. You have, we can have a million kind of ad libs. Okay. So you don't have to repeat the same kind of um, ad lib um, chorus after chorus. Okay. So let's try oohs and ahs now. Ooh. We're going to start with that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Next, okay? Let's try it. Ooh, you ready? Ooh, I love you. Yeah. I need you. Did you get it that time? Let's try it again. so on okay um, sometimes you can do a vowel sound and sustain it and that may cover the whole chorus that's if you're good with your breath control and sustaining um, skills I love Did you see that? So there are various things you can do, all right? Like I said, it comes with practice, okay? So what you have in your memory bank 
is going to determine how well you do with ad lib so you start practicing when you practice an ad lib and make it your own it's now implanted into your mind you practice another style another one it, you plant it into your mind and then by the time you have a lot of them you just flow with any music now you may say oh not all, all music are not the same yes but it's share the same principle like if i were to play another song i'll just tweak the one i know a bit to fit in the next song like I said experiment okay play around and um, in your practice times record yourself as well then you'll be able to tell whether you're doing it right or not and then correct yourself in the areas you need to correct yourself I hope this video helps now uh, click the subscribe button and you can leave in the comment section below um, uh, maybe a question you have or you want me to make a video on maybe a certain uh, subject just let me know okay have a great time